Hello everyone, welcome back to Pit Forge SMP. It's been a little while since the last episode. Uh, I just had a break and then I was going to do one last week, but bad stuff happened, yeah. I've had quite a few mishaps and I'll tell you about those later. But I did actually do the mining trip I said I would so we can get some gear. And once, I've, once we've done that, we will continue on and probably finish the gold farm thingy. But this is what I got on, I think it's my third attempt, Tudor Creepers, I'll tell you about that later. Over a stack of iron, some gold, and 33 diamonds, which you have to admit is pretty nice, right? So what we're going to do is, I don't actually have enough leather to finish my own enchanting cave around here. So I'm going to go use the one at spawn, and I'm also going to have to do more mob grinding, because I have a lot of stuff to make. But as you notice, I think I have enough diamonds for full diamond tools and full diamond armor. So isn't that pretty good? I sure reckon it is. So if we just go around to the spawn, which is this way, I'll tell you about the mishaps I had. So I think this is like my third mining trip. I can't quite remember what happened the first one. I think I probably lost everything in lava. The second one I was, was a few days ago. I was blown up by a creeper. And then the most recent one finally succeeded. And yesterday I did a ton of mob grinding. Got up to like level 51, enough to enchant everything. And then this morning when I got on the server, it was completely lagging out. And when I stopped lagging i died i think i was killed by a zombie or something and because of that i'd lost all of the xp i grinded so i've only got enough to do one thing at a time here so i'm just going to go from the enchanting table over here to the mob grinder just over there but one thing i am going to do is i'm going to put a chest down up high out of reach of creepers because i don't trust myself not to die with all these diamonds and lapis and stuff but first things first we're going to try making a few tools, so I assume there's a crafting table around here, that is, let's just make ourselves the pick and the sword to start off with, that sounds like a good way to start, and let's see what enchantment we can get on our pick, hopefully it's a good one, I want to have some nice fortune, because that would be great, what is this, efficiency 3, I'll take that, because that is a nice and definitely pick, and we'll see what else we get, just efficiency 3, Eh, not the best, but it'll do. I'm just going to level 30 enchant these. I'll go with like AFK fish farming and books and stuff later. That's the thing that will happen, but not quite yet. But I will like top up the enchants, but I'm just going to start by level 30 enchanting literally everything. So now I need to go back over to the mob farm over here, and I need to get back up to level 30. So I'll just give you a look around the mob farm over here. Do 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 do. Okay, and so as you can see, it's just a zombie, and it's quite nice over here, and you kill the zombies down here. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kill things, and I'll show you me enchanting each one of the tools and armor. Okay, for the sword, what am I going to get? Sword, I'm going to get sharpness 4, nice. What have I got? Looting 3 and sharpness 4, really nice. That is a good enchant for my sword. Okay, I've now got all the XP I need. It's actually been a while for me because I had to go out and it's now like much later. So if I can't remember exactly what I was doing, that's why. But I did actually get XP just by AFKing and stuff. So now we can enchant the remainder of the items. Although because it's night time, I think going to sleep first might be a good idea. Because I don't want to get blown up by a creeper in the middle of enchanting. And there's like all my diamonds and all XP, which is like just as annoying as the diamonds to get. And where the hell is that house? used to be a house around here that had a bed in it, no? Am I imagining that? I must be. Okay. I will go back to my house and sleep, and then I'll get on to the enchanting. I just want to say sorry again for the large gap between the videos. I had like a two week break, and then I was going to do a video last week, but a creeper destroyed all my mining and I rage quit pretty much. But anyway, now we can do some more enchanting. We've got our pick, and we've got our sword. Let's make the other tools we need, as well as the armor. So. We're also going to need, I think for ourselves, a axe and a shovel, or an axe and a shovel, if you want to use proper English, but you know, who cares, I can't English. Okay, there we go, we want a lovely chest plate, I think we have enough diamonds, but I'm not sure. Then we want a helmet, we want some leggings, and yes, we have exactly the right amount of diamonds, that is amazing, and we want some boots, okie dokie. So, let's go with, let's put our lapis in, which we also got when mining, luckily. 
and I'm breaking three, sounds good to me. Silk touch, I'm breaking three, efficiency four. That sounds like an amazing axe to me. Great. Shovel, what are we going to get? Efficiency four, just efficiency four. Good enough. I mean, it's not as good as my amazing axe, but whatever. Chest plate, what are we going to get? Protection three. I'm breaking three, I'll take that as well. Nice. Um, protection three again. Nice. No breaking there, though. I'll have to get some of that with books later on. Blast protection four and depth stride of three. That is nice. That makes you move much faster across water. And a good amount of fire protection for my helmet. Rounding out my armor. This armor is just random crap I got from the um, monster grinder to hopefully protect me a little bit. But there we go. We are now fully geared up with diamond tools and diamond armor and we are going to go go to my base and get all get prepared and then i'll head through to the nether where we can finish off that pig zombie farm that i'm not entirely sure is really working but i still want to finish it off anyway and on my way i'm going to see if i can find some water to test out the depth strider here's a tiny bit of water might show me what i need to know oh yeah look at that swimming that is definitely way faster than without any depth strider at all i love it okay oh here's a bit more water yeah, look at this. I move so fast swimming. That is good. Depth Strider, good chance to have. And the fire protection on my helmet should be good. If I fall in lava, I might survive to get out of it again if I'm only like right in one block of lava. Who knows? I reckon I need some wood for the my time in the nether since you don't get any trees there and wood is always needed. Oh my god, look at this freaking ridiculous axe. And I believe, yep, I can even harvest leaves with it due to the fact it has silk touch. But that axe is really ridiculously fast. I love it. Okay, I arrived in the nether and now it's a nether hub. So I'm probably going to have a hard time finding my way back to the gold farm in progress. But I'm guessing that the hub's like built on the top and I need to head downwards. And this is going to take me like where I want to go. But I really hope I do actually find it. Yes, look, this is taking me back down here. And this could be somewhere close to the original portal. But I'm going to have to scout around for probably ages to see if I can find it. Okay, I think I've found it without too much difficulty. I'm just going to go and put some markers down so that I can hopefully find my way back when I'm done. On the plus note, this armor seems to be pretty good at protecting me from fire damage. These blazes keep setting me on fire. So that's got to be good, right? Okay, I think I can find my way back. I just have to head up here across to the thingy. That sounds pretty good to me. And then down these steps too. Yeah, this is all fine. It looks like someone's actually started building a bridge across in this direction. Or is this just the top of the thing? Yeah, it's just, it's just the top of the thing. But maybe it's a good place to build the bridge. But yeah, look at this fire protection. I don't get any damage from fire at all. That is good. I don't know about lava. And that is not something I'm going to go and test deliberately. It'll probably be tested eventually when I fall in lava. But it's definitely not something I want to test deliberately. And it probably does quite a bit of damage on my armor. Which doesn't currently have any unbreaking or mending or anything. But, you know, it's all fine. Anyway, here is our probably quite crappy um, gold farm thing. So I think what I need to do to start off with is finish that shaft down. I don't even think this is actually ever going to work. But, you know, it's a fun thing to build and gives me something to do anyway. If you're wondering what I'm planning next episode, I think as well I will start off or just one thing i'll do is i will liken the final episode of pit for season one it won't be the final episode though i'm going to try to make a path and railway from my base to spawn and then after that i'm going to see if anyone has an afk fish farm i can use and if they do i'm going to do use it between episodes and get some cool enchants to put on my stuff i mean this doesn't appear to be working at all this current thing but i still want to at least finish the collection mechanism so that it could work if it like had the opportunity but i don't think it's actually going to work so i'm not going to bother building a path or anything like that i'm just going to finish the collection mechanism because it seems pretty crappy and not working to me really okay anyone know where the exit was no me neither uh, I just built one pole up and I didn't really think about this, did I? Because then I'll have to spend ages finding my way down. Um, this is a bit tricky. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some kind of dangerous stunt here. Like this. But I think what I need to do is build them all up simultaneously. Otherwise, I'm just going to get trapped many times. 
Um, I don't know how far of a fall I can survive. I don't have any feather falling on my uh, on my boots of my new armor, so I probably don't want to risk that too much, which isn't the greatest. But I think just by doing this, I can get my way down, and then I'm just going to build all the way up around all the edges simultaneously. Ooh, a big zombie just dropped down, so it is possible for them to actually fall into my trap. It doesn't seem very likely, I probably need more collection area and better design collection area, but it's possible because a pig zombie did just fall down there. Yay! Let's collect his gold. See look, he gave us a single gold nugget. How nice of him. I don't quite have enough netherrack, but I don't think gathering netherracks can be too hard with my new pick. I mean, look at that speed. I can just pillar that back up when I'm going back up. So let's just dig ourselves. Oh, it looks like we've done some digging around here before, but let's just dig up. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's when we fell into that lava because of the torch that killed us. But oh my god, yeah, we can insta-break netherrack, which does break quite quickly, but did you see that? Compared to mining with the iron pick when I was getting netherrack before, take which took me ages, I can just go, Nyaw. this is amazing. Wow, okay, I probably have enough netherrack now already. That was ridiculous. Yeah, I have, like, almost... I have over two stacks of netherrack from that. I definitely need to get some breaking on that. Unbreaking on that though, because at that speed it could break quite quickly indeed. Like seriously, look at that speed. I mean, it's ridiculous. I don't even know if I can break a single piece if I want to. <laughs> okay, let's just finish these pillars up. Right, that's the main tube done. I reckon the best way to get down from here is to go across to this existing landmass over here, because I can't be bothered doing like fancy pillaring down crap because that requires effort and then I can quickly destroy the bridge behind me not in front of me, sheesh, behind me, that was close and only the bridge there we go, good so look at that ridiculous speed, it's just ridiculous oh, I didn't mean to walk off the edge there but I did, it's fine okay, now we need to go down here and which way is the thing? I think it's over there so we'll do it, no, is that's the new one, yeah, it's from over there and I'm going to build the little viewing slit here, <laughs> like that. And we're going to put hoppers on the bottom, because this should be far enough to kill, pretty much guaranteed to kill them. So I'm going to put hoppers on the bottom, of which I don't have any, but I should have everything I need. So if I just do this and make, uh, I think I need what, nine hoppers? Yeah, okay, I'll make nine hoppers. So I'm going to need a few more chests in that case. I hope I can make enough. Seven, yep, that's perfect. And then for hoppers, we do something like that. There we go. Eight hoppers, and we have a spare chest to funnel it all into. Perfect. So we're going to dig out here, put some hoppers down. So starting with one funneling into the chest here. So we'll have our chest here, and hopper funneling into there. And then we'll have the other hoppers all kind of funneling inwards to that hopper. Simple. And they'll all go into the chest. I mean, this isn't going to be a very fast because I think the collection mechanism's pretty poor at the moment. But, you know, whatever. I could have sworn I made nine hoppers. No? Obviously I didn't. Ah, okay. Um, It's fine. That corner can be dead. No one needs that corner, right? No? It's fine. I don't have any wood to make another hopper, you see. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. But what I'm going to do is that is done for now. I think sometime in the far future I'll come back to it and improve the collection mechanism. But theoretically this is a working gold farm, just an extremely slow one. But yeah, I've come back to it in the far future and probably test the collection mechanism. But that's done. So next episode my plan is to... Possibly probably make a railroad, definitely make a path, a nice path from my base to spawn and also if someone else has an AFK fish farm and another pit forger as I'm sure someone does I mean someone must have and I'm fairly sure I've seen talk about it in our chat so yeah um, I will try and go AFK fish farming and get a load of enchanted books and apply them to my armour but one more thing I do want to do before I go is I know it's dangerous. I want to test my um, self armor in lava, but no, I'm not stupid enough to just jump in some random lava in the nether. That would be the death of me. I'm going to go into the overworld, 
with a nice piece of lava. In fact, I should... Do I have any more iron? I don't actually. Wow, okay. I should you know, place down some lava with some water right, right next to it, as well as water in a bucket I'm holding, just for safety. And I'm going to set up a test of the lava capability, survival capabilities of my armor. Okay, I think I've taken enough precautions for this lava test. I'm only me standing on the edge of lava, I'm not like in a block like that water there. Which, by the way, I'm standing right next to some water and I have another bucket of water in my inventory. I'll put my tools in here because I don't need those for the test. And I should be able to stand in lava and see what my armor does. And if it doesn't do well, I should be able to not die, I hope. Okay, let's do it. Let's stand in lava. Oh my god, I'm not taking any damage. It is amazing. I have got fire protection 4, which would damage my armor quite a lot, but until my armor breaks, I am perfectly safe. That is good. That was the lava test, it was good, damaged my armor quite a bit, but, but I do have it until my armor breaks to get out of lava, which is pretty freaking good. So I'd like to thank you all for watching, I hope you're looking forward to next episode. I need to go see if anyone has a AFK fish farm for getting enchanted books, and goodbye!